Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about how to normalize audio in Digital Performer using the normalize command. Uh, this is a pretty simple feature uh, and it's actually going to be a pretty quick video. Um, and this is for the folks out there that either may not know what normalize does or is uh, and slash didn't know it existed in Digital Performer as a command. Or perhaps you're coming from a Digital Performer version that's a little bit older than DP10 or 11 and you remember this being in a different location and you still can't find it. So kind of going to that and speaking to that for a second, uh, at some point Normalize was in a different location in DP and then it changed, I think, in DP10 and beyond uh, to, to where it exists now. And where it, is, where it exists now is actually in the waveform editor window. So taking a look at the definition of Normalize and what exactly it does in the program, uh, we can see here it says the normalize command in the audio edit layer menu, which this is referring to the waveform editor uh, audio edit layer menu. We'll, we'll check that out in a second. It says it boosts the level of the selected region by whatever amount is needed to make the loudest peak reach digital full scale zero dB. Right. So basically it's going to look at the transients that you see in your sound bite and it's going to look at that highest peak and then it's going to try to, when you normalize, take that highest peak and make it reach that zero db full scale um, limit if you will so we've got a test project here a couple sound bites uh, to demonstrate this we really only really need just one sound bite but i'm going to switch over to the waveform editor and what this waveform editor window is if you're not super familiar is it just allows you to kind of focus on one sound bite and edit it uh, basically um, and a little bit more of a hyper-focused view, uh, where some of the other windows are more kind of a collective effort of showing you different types of information. Moving forward, um, this particular soundbite that we have currently shown is called Drums Full Trippin'. And if you're wondering how to put a specific soundbite in focus, there's a couple ways that you can do it. One is that we could simply open the soundbite window like I have over here. That's something you can find in the project menu by clicking on this or hitting Shift B. Um, doesn't matter what Windows or Mac operating system you're running, that's the command. Um, but you can click on these different sound bites and it will switch to the different sound bite. And we're actually hearing a preview of that now. The second way to do it is down here in kind of this section where we can choose what sound bite is kind of in focus. But um, right now, the current one is, as we can see, uh, this strictly stabs, which we kind of selected to selected over here. Um, we also kind of have a third option for what it's worth, which is up here uh, in the top right corner. But anyways, um, moving forward, how do we normalize? Well, it's pretty simple. There's a couple of steps involved that we need to do before we even can use the normalize command and really access it. So that's one, putting a sound bite in focus. Two, we have to select a region, whether it be a small snippet of something like this, or uh, perhaps the entire sound bite, which is what I'm going to do today. And once we have that selected region, then we can access the normalize command, which happens to be down here. Now, as I kind of mentioned in the definition of, uh, of the manual, it says it's in the audio edit layer menu. And the waveform editor window is kind of comprised of different layers. And right now we're on the audio edit layer because it says audio right here. If we click on it, then we have different edit layer options like pitch, beats, tempo. Those are edit layer options. Um, but we want to choose audio because that's where normalize is. As a result, if I click on next, this little icon to the direct right of that edit layer drop down. This is called the edit mode options, which are options specific to that edit mode that you selected. So if I click on this, we see normalize, but we also see fade in, fade out, and apply plugin. These are things that are specific to the audio uh, edit layer option. Now, you probably guessed it, but the next thing we do is just click normalize and we'll see what happens. Right. So you can see that the, the gain or the, the waveforms, if you will, the transits got a little bit bigger, and that's because Normalize is taking those kind of highest peaks here and trying to, uh, you know, and successfully putting it at that kind of highest full-scale peak, uh, zero dB value. Now, there's another way that we can actually normalize in DP. It's really going to be the same thing at the end of the day. The steps leading up to the normalize function are going to be the same, meaning we have to be in the waveform editor, we have to make a selection, and then we can execute normalize but this is for uh, I think a bit of a quicker way to do it especially if you can't remember to look at this little menu down here because it's you know it's small and it's kind of easy to miss right and that's using something called run command uh, if you're not familiar with run command this is a newer feature that started in dp10 has carried over 
Um, and for folks out there that are using Mac, uh, this is very similar to what a spotlight search is, but it's basically a spotlight search for commands in DP. And for folks that are not on Mac OS, of course, and you're using Windows, basically it's a, a kind of a finder, if you will, uh, a search mechanism for finding a command and then executing it. We can find it up here in the setup menu under run command. You can either hit, you can do this or hit shift space to open this pretty quickly. But basically we type in the command that we want to utilize. Um, and in this case, I want to type in normalize. We can see it pops up here. And because it is available to me, thanks to me, you know, being able to, or excuse me, um, being in the waveform editor, selecting some sort of region of audio or sound bite, we can actually either click on this or hit enter and it's going to execute the normalize command. Now, it didn't sh show you really anything right now because I've already normalized it, but let me just undo these, th that action uh, from the first normalize and let's try it one more time. So I'm gonna hit shift space bar. I'm gonna hit enter to normalize again. And we're gonna see that it works. So just kind of two ways for you to actually utilize um, normalize, <laughs> that sound confusing, in the waveform editor, whether it be from this kind of bottom little mini menu option here, the edit mode options menu, or using a cool feature called run command. I like to use run command because uh, I'm very familiar with spotlight search on macOS, so it's just kind of easy for me to do that. But uh, there's no right way, it's just whatever you're comfortable with. So that about sums it up and wraps up this video today. Again, it's kind of a shorter one. Um, but as always, if you like this video and you like its contents, please like and subscribe, of course, for more content about Digital Performer and other um, videos similar to this. Um, of course, if you have any comments or concerns or you'd like to see more content or anything of that sort, please comment below. Um, I'm happy to, to dive in and talk to you about uh, what we were doing today. And of course, take into uh, consideration any future videos that you'd like to see. Uh, as always, uh, we'll see you next time.